Hi there, we're here with Rajesh Mishra, uh, CTO and founder of Parallel Wireless. Hi Rajesh. Hi Dan, nice to meet you, nice to have you here. Yeah, good to meet you. So, um, the place is buzzing, we'll talk about virtualization. What do you think are the kind of key innovations around virtualization that you, you're seeing? Yeah, so virtualization actually is a great technology. It has revolutionized the whole enterprise solutions for a long time. And now it's about time it comes to seller side of it. We actually see virtualization very differently. And you know, to be honest, when the industry was going towards the CRAN where everybody wanted and loved the dark fiber, and they call them virtualization, we were thinking virtualization differently back then. We still think differently now. So what virtualization is, if you step back and see it, it's all about simplification, where you're using commodity hardware. And when I say commodity, that doesn't mean I built a purpose hardware just because I'm using commodity CPU. It's a true commodity hardware you can buy from anybody. So using a commodity hardware and taking advantages of these different software functions, they are virtualizing it in a seamless way. So it's about seamless integration of virtualization, not thinking take a bladed chassis and put every line card as a virtual function and call it a virtualization. That's not virtualization in our books. So we think differently, we try to integrate and make a seamless experience in virtualization. And I'll give you one example. If iPhone were a virtualized platform, how you see how these different apps are blended in, take advantage of the ecosystem, that's a virtualization to us, not where each app are different silos just because they share the same platform. So that's not virtualization to us. And that's really where we're seeing a lot of traction. We've been at it for the last five plus years, and we are seeing a lot of tractions with the different operators, where now when everybody's talking virtualization, our solution stands out because we are virtualizing not only 4G, we are virtualizing 3G, we are virtualizing enterprise, we are virtualizing public safety. And that's the beauty of virtualization when you do it seamlessly rather than just doing a virtualization for a silo of a technology. Great. Now, you talk about your technology as a multi-technology VRAN. Can you explain what the difference is in all that? Yeah, so as you know, in the world, right, there's still many places doing 2G and they'll be lucky and they'll be happy to get 3G. And obviously 4G is in a lot of places already, right? So when we look at the problem, we look at the problem for multi-technology. So when you do a multi-technology VRAN, you are looking at how am I steering users from 2G to 3G to 4G. You are looking at how am I optimizing interference, how am I doing a power savings, right? So you're looking at a total picture. You're not just looking at the baseband level of virtualization. You're looking at a solution level virtualization. How am I doing operator sharing? How am I doing a enterprise virtualization? So they don't need a controller on every enterprise, right? So that's really how we look at the multi-technology virtualization. And you know, people talk about network slicing in a 5G world. We have been doing it for a long time across these different technologies. So when you're sharing the transport, whether you're using, let's say, a poor transport, how do you take advantage of that with the virtualized platform where you know what's going on in these different transports and different access side and take advantage of it, right? And make sure the slice works end to end. So that's another part of the multi-technology virtualization we take advantage of. And uh, another thing that's been getting a lot of hype here at the show is 5G. Would you call Parallel Wireless 5G ready and why? Yeah, actually, honestly, we have been. And our architecture, if you look back, and if you compare with any of the leading vendors 5G architecture, everybody's introducing a gateway. We've been calling HeadNet Gateway for a long time. So we believe we, have, we are 5G ready. We already do the network slicing, as I spoke to you about it, even in a 3G and 4G world, right? So we believe we are ready. The, we have already demonstrated and announced the mobile, uh, mobile edge compute a long time ago. We already do the signaling as well as um, the data-based uh, optimizations, which are critical for 5G. So we believe we are ready as the technology and the standards evolve will be there. Great. Thank you.